This video is going to demonstrate how to create worksets or projects within ProjectWise. So locally, you can select your workspace and your workset or your project right here, and you can use this button to create your workset, and it copies over from a template everything that you need. When you open a DGN through ProjectWise, this area is grayed out. And so how do you create a new work set from ProjectWise? Before we begin, we need to understand a little bit about this variable right here, underbar USTN underbar work set DGN WS template. So this variable points to a template DGN WS that will be used in creating the DGNWS file for the project. And I can see the variable here. It's set at the system level. And if I double click on it, you can see it's pointed here. So I go to that location within my file explorer and you can see it right here. So it's contained under my workspaces folder you can see it's not actually a workspace because I don't have a CFG, but it's in here. And this folder contains a workset CFG, a workspace CFG, and a DGNWS. So these are templates. They're really CFGs. They just have it renamed as .template. So if I double click on it, you can see it's just the CFG. So this is something you could copy over. But this is something that is delivered with the workspace. The other thing to note is that this file is defined at the system level, and that is defined within this msconfig.cfg located in this location. And if I open it up, you can see right here the use station works at DGNWS template is defined right here. So in ProjectWise, under my Workspaces folder, I have dragged over the template folder, and this is what contains all of my templates. The most important is the DGNWS template that we want here. So to create a new project, you need to go to where your projects are located right click and select to create a new work area and work through the wizard. Click next and then you can give it a name. So I'll call this project ABC. Project ABC in the description. Project ABC. I'll click next, next, hit next, next finish. And you can see that it was created right here, my project. And then within the template folder, you can copy the work set and then paste it within the structure. And it pasted this here, and I want to rename it to project abc.cfg because it has that dot template. I need to make sure to uncheck that. And then I will hit OK. So if your project does contain multiple folders underneath and within it, you can always copy and paste instead of creating a brand new folder. You can copy, you can have a template here and copy and paste um, the folder structure that you want for the new project. And then you can just right click and select upgrade to work area to upgrade this folder to a work area. So now that we have the CFG, um, we need a DGN to open. So I'm going to click right click new advanced wizard and I'm going to create a DGN from seed. So I'm going to select my seed file 
which is right there. And I'm going to call this new project test. And I want to open it in my Open Roads Designer. And it's created the DGN. So remember at the system level, how that MS config points to this location. So we want this location to be pulled from project wise and not locally, since this template on different users machines, maybe it's there, maybe they've deleted it. And so having it on project wise will allow your workspace to work seamlessly since it's here. So we need to define this variable within the workspace to be able to point to the location on project wise. So for me, I'm going to be defining this in the ORD startup CFG that we have, but you could set this in another location as well. So I'll just add a line. I'm going to type in underbar USTN work set DGNWS template equals, and I'm going to use this right here, which is defined within the CSB. This is the, the root location. I'm going to use that to define that points to this ORD standards connect, and I need it to go to, down to that folder. So I have it going to the workspaces template, and then it's pointing to the DGNWS right there. And I'm just going to copy it and lock the variable, lock, paste, and then save and check it in. And so now when I go back to this project, you can see I have the folder in the CFG I created and the DGNWS is going to be created automatically when I open a DGN for the first time in the project. Now I'm going to load the DGN. And as Open Roads is opening, I'll leave the Explorer so you can watch it create the DGNWS. And now you can see it's created the DGNWS. Now that the DGN is open, I'll go to the Explorer tab, Sheet Index. You can see the DGNWS being loaded there. Also, if I go to the configuration variables, I'll search for DGNWS. And you can see that my template's pointing to the template. And then my DGNWS was created, and that's that project ABC that's located right here. So you want to make sure that Open Roads creates the DGNWS for you. In Explorer, you do not want to copy and paste and rename it here. <clears throat> The only thing you want to copy and paste is the folder and the CFG, load a DGN, and it'll automatically create the DGN WS for you. So you want to let Open Roads Designer create it for you. You do not want to copy and paste and rename it.